while we are watching some showers and thunderstorms continuing to move through, not in our viewing area yet, but this is what the radar, satellite radar looked like at around 6 this morning. Some isolated showers and thunderstorms from the west moving into southeast Iowa into Wapalo County, Mahaska, Keokuk counties. Also continuing to move through around 9 to 10 in the morning. And then we started to see some more sunshine. And now, as we're heading into the early evening hours, really firing up, especially into uh, central portions of Kansas, as well as near Nebraska and Sioux City. In fact, about 26 miles south of Sioux City, a confirmed tornado. And that's actually moving into northwestern portions of of Iowa. So again, very isolated uh, showers moving through the area right now. Not everyone is going to get. However, we are watching these thunderstorms very closely. Uh, that's firing up. Here's the line of showers and thunderstorms can, that's going to continue to track north and east. This line is, but the whole complex is going to continue to advance eastward overnight. Uh, so again, we are going to see some strong to severe thunderstorms. Uh, in our viewing area, probably anywhere from 9 to midnight, that's when they're going to start to move in. Uh, but we're not going to see, hopefully, probably not going to see any tornadoes. Uh, more than likely, it's going to weaken as it continues to advance eastward. And, of course, uh, we're not going to... We're gonna, not going to have that daytime heating to fuel that. Uh, so again, we've got a lot of things working for us as we're heading into the overnight. Again, I wanted to uh, show this because tornadoes, damaging winds, and large hail, moderate risk. And actually, the moderate risk uh, does include Monroe, Appanoose, and portions of Wapalo County. So again, they have moved this down. The threat for the moderate risk today, everywhere else we are in a slight risk of severe weather. So again, I'll be monitoring this this evening and as we're heading into uh, 10, 11 o'clock, that's when it's more than likely going to continue to move in and affect us. So for tonight, if you're going to the football games, I think you'll be okay, at least the beginning. 81 degrees right now at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are out of the south, 14 miles per hour. Dew point around 67, relative humidity levels at 62 percent. Atumwa, 81 degrees and mostly sunny skies. 67, dew point humidity levels at 62 percent. Again, the temperatures will be about 79 degrees at 7 o'clock with partly cloudy skies. Uh, but I will say, just in case, uh, take an umbrella or a rain jacket just in case because the start of it should be okay. However, as we're heading into close to the finish of the game. That's where we could see some showers moving in. 59 degrees as your overnight low with storms likely. Southwest winds 10 to 20 with gusts near 30 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, not moving up very much. 62 degrees with morning rain. And then we'll see partly sunny skies and windy conditions. Brisk winds at that. And then tomorrow night, we're really going to feel the difference. 39 degrees as your overnight low for tomorrow night with mostly clear skies. Sunday, a cool 57 degrees. And then we're warming things back up. 72 degrees by Tuesday. Wednesday, 76. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. So again, I'll be watching those storms move in. It's going to be a busy evening for it you. Will.